Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Sunday to you all. Now, typically, I don't record on Sundays, but because I was away on me vacation, I'm actually a little bit behind on a couple of things, namely um, albums. This one in particular, I've been meaning to get around to for a very long time because we actually listened to the title track uh, when it dropped. We listened to the pre-release single when it dropped. Just didn't have the time to check out the album before I went off on vacation. Of course, this is Mr. Kang Daniel with his fourth EP, the Realize EP. And thankfully, it's a bit of a shorter album. And, and we're already 40% of the way through it. So the title track SOS, we've watched already. In fact, it was actually a very enjoyable song to listen to. Wasteland, we've already listened to when it dropped as a pre-release. So we have Supernova, we have Liar. And we have Dreaming, tracks number 3, 4, and 5 of the EP to check out today. Um, I haven't really dealt with too many Connect Entertainment albums, but um, Yuju's uh, EP, uh, with the title track Without You on it, did get blocked, if I remember correctly. So there's a chance this is going to be over on PCloud instead of on YouTube. If that is the case, I don't know how to put time code or like timestamps in the videos, so you're gonna have to kind of bear with me, kind of scrub through. Um, for those of you, or I guess if it stays on YouTube and it's your first album, listen with me here. I have uh, the timeline below chapter based off of whatever song we're listening to, so you can jump ahead to a certain song of your choice, but again, I don't know how to do that on Peacock, so if it does get blocked, then sincerest of apologies. But, let's jump over real quick, and um, I'm gonna try YouTube for the, today's album listens, just so I don't have to deal with Spotify's kind of weird audio balancing issues. Also, Spotify's been really spotty for me today, so I'm just gonna use YouTube and hopefully this works out well, but let us begin. Enough chitter chatter. This is Supernova. Uh, lyrics by Chancellor and Nave. Composition Remy Goutreau, Jesse Fink, Anthony Russo, Carl Buckley, Charles Nelson, MZMC. Arrangement Pink Slip, Inverness. Shout out Scotland one time, and then MZMC. Okay, here we go. My first Kang Daniel album. Apologies if audio balancing isn't smooth off the f rip. I'm gonna try and fix it as we go. This song could go places. I'm waiting for the full drop to happen. I know there's gonna be something else. There it is. It's an interesting juxtaposition. It's got this kind of modern trap type beat to it. It's got this bounce to it. It's got Kang Daniel's really smooth vocals, but it's also got this kind of crunchy rock element to it. Lots of things coming together. Keep the vocal harmony. Get 
little modulation there. Break it down. Big switch up into this modern, brassy, like, very more traditional trap type sound. And that little. So and I just can't get enough Oh, that song chugs. Supernova really chugs. It's, it's so interesting. When it goes into that halftime beat after it's a kind of energetic chorus, you can feel that kind of like halftime swing that it has. You, know, you can feel the song kind of slow down in a way. But that l energy from the quick chorus lingers on into it. And I think that's so interesting. Oh. After like listening to SOS when that dropped last or earlier in the week, and then Wasteland when that dropped as like uh, pre-release, I thought it was like the B sides were going to be a little bit more darker than what Supernova was. This was surprisingly bright, at least in comparison to the other two songs that we've listened to so far. But I like that. It's like a casual kind of rock tune with a modern like modern dance spin to it. And I'm not mad at that. Oh yeah, okay. Off to a great start. Next up we have Liar. Lyrics, once again, Chancellor and Nave. Composition, Colin Magalong. David Wilson, David Shaman. And MZMC. Arrangement by D. Willie, David Shaman, MZMC. Okay, Liar, send it. Oh, this song's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Flip it acoustic one time. Hold on. What? Kind of like late night feel to it. There's a little bit of like mysteriousness to it, but also kind of like um, a breakup has happened and I'm having a moment walking and dancing in the pouring rain in the middle of the night kind of vibe. I will give him this, it's really smooth. I love the soundscape for it too, it's such a wide soundscape. With the way his voice has a nice little reverb effect to it, the way the instrumentals feel like they kind of continue to reverberate after the note's done. Like, 
really atmospheric ooh-ah section. And a bona fide outro? It is a bona fide outro. Okay, okay. Ooh, once again, a lot softer than I thought the album was going to be based off of the pre release on the title track. It's really smooth. But at the same time, really hard to describe the kind of sensations I'm getting from this song because there's a lot. It's really smooth. There's a surprising amount of like emotion behind it. Like, it. For me, this is like the type of song I would imagine would be playing on like a scene in a romance drama where there's been some type of fight between the main couple. One of the one of the people in the relationship is now walking through a park in the middle of the night. You know, you have some street lights just like shining a, a, like a kind of yellowish like dim light on the path. It's cloudy. All of a sudden it starts raining as the like chorus kicks into gear. It's giving me that kind of vibes. But also, just the way the song's been mixed and the very particular instrumentals they use in it almost sounds a little bit haunting to me. It's like the really plucky, like, high synth with the really long, rich reverb. Something about that just gives me kind of middle of nowhere, just vast expansive of nothingness. And, like, the music is playing in the middle of it. Interesting image. Interesting mental image that this song has painted for me. I like it though. It's really smooth. I thought... I always had the impression that Kang Daniel's music was a little bit more intense, but I think I might be misremembering, or I might be thinking of someone else, because even on a song like S.O.S., it still very much was a nice flowy song. I don't know if this is a this era kind of thing, but... I'm not as overwhelmed as I thought I was going to be with this album. So, plus marks for the, plus marks for Mr. Kang Daniel. Final song on the album. This is Dreaming. Lyrics once again: Chancellor and Nave, composition Wyatt Sanders, Rudy Sandapa, MZMC, with arrangements by Rudy Sandapa and MZMC. Let's go. Last song on an album, tip, uh, a lot of times is a ballad, but this doesn't sound like one. Two very different synthesizer styles coming in here. Man, this album really is kind of like a whole mix of a lot of things. Oh, he's making it work. Like the imposing bass with the really kind of... Treble punchy synth. That kind of sounds like guitar mixed with his smooth voice. is a combo that I didn't think would work this well. Also, this is very much ballad-esque in how the song feels. Although not like blatantly a ballad, it gives off the same sensations as one.
and I love these subtle injections of the acoustic instruments as well, like the keys and a little bit of strings earlier. Stack the vocals. Is there a chorus section in the background as well? like marching band type moving snare. Very smart to pick up the energy. I like it. I like it where it is in the album. I like the song and how it's been written. It's very clever. As on the surface, it doesn't come across as a ballad. There's too many instrumentals going on. The instrumentals are very busy. And it's like, on first listen, the first impression is not a ballad. But the more you listen to it, the more you truly feel like the underlying balladiness of this song and i think that's why i'm liking it so much there's this something about a ballad for the most part isn't supposed to be like a very overwhelming song the only really appropriate sensation of feeling like overwhelmed with a ballad is emotionally overwhelmed and for me like listening to this i was really curious as to where kong daniel was gonna go with this it was very busy in the synth department early on. You could kind of feel the clash between like the high and the low and how they were two very different styles from each other and what he was going to do with it once his voice came in. And he brought in his you know smooth, really smooth, mellow voice on top of everything. And it just, it was like the missing ingredient. Everything just slotted into place with his voice and I was just so caught off guard by it. And then... Once you get into the really pretty, like, flowing chorus sections, and especially that final chorus, once you get the marching band, like, snare drum involved, oh, you really feel the emotional aspect of this song. Honestly, very appropriately titled. It does kind of send me to a different kind of realm, almost like a dreamland in a way, and I love that. Okay. I... To be frank, never really got into many of the acts after 101 disbanded. I don't know why, it just never really happened. I've known about Kang Daniel for years at this point. And known that, you know, he's CEO at Connect Entertainment. He's got like an artist list of people, one of them being one of my favorite vocalists from third gen and Yuju's over at Connect Entertainment now. It's like I don't know why it took me so long to get involved with the Kang Daniel release. Hmm. Well, frankly, considering like this was kind of my first like proper foray into Kang Daniel music, I very much enjoyed it. I had kind of like an expectation of what to it, kind of what the album was going to be like. All of those got thrown straight out the window. And I could not be pleased. Or I could not be more pleased, sorry. That kind of my initial ideas and like anticipations that I had about this album were completely wrong. I'm so glad to be wrong. Because I feel like with... I just kind of... I genuinely don't know who I was thinking of when I'm... Because I've always associated Kang Daniel's music as being kind of... A little bit musically intense. But I don't know who I'm mistaking him for. Because this, this was... 
not intense at all. This was really smooth to listen to. This was really easy to listen to. And also musically, very interesting. I like the composition team on this album. They're doing a lot. And they're making some very intricate composition choices that really paid off, I think. I still do like SOS. I think the title track is top track for me. If I had to choose a B-side, ooh. As a fan of ballads, I do like Dreaming. But Supernova has really good energy to it. And then Liar is so atmospheric and so big and ooh. But yeah, I think SOS is gonna take still take the crown for song on the album for me, but this was really good. This was a lot of fun. But that is it for me today. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. Um again, I don't know where this is gonna end up. This might be over on P Cloud, this might be over on YouTube. We will work with it as we go. But Unfortunately, me one last request from me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world, whether it be checking with your friends or family, holding the door over somebody, even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day. And know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy in the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.